you know, my kids don't really know exactly what's gone on. And I don't know if they're old enough. Scott, we're family. We're always going to be together. This always. is insane to think anything else. It's We've never going to be any different. It just feels I think the one thing that I can take from this whole experience is that I really do value this family I'm in more than probably anything else in the world. So I need you to know that when this is all over, you're still our brother. I love you. Never forget that. I'm always going to be your mom. And I'll always be here to listen and to be here for you, whatever you may need. Anyone who's been following the Kardashians over the years will know that the relationship between Scott and Courtney has been complicated for a while. And unluckily for Scott, things are about to get much worse as he faces the possibility of losing his family. Allow me to give you the whole scoop in this video. Scott and Courtney, who dated on and off for almost a decade before calling it quits for good in 2015, have always maintained a friendly relationship. Despite their rocky past and have remained committed to co-parenting, their three children, Mason, Penelope, and Rain. However, there's been tons of back and forth between the exes since their split, lots of which has aired on Keeping Up With The Kardashians. Things only got more complicated as Courtney and Travis's relationship began to progress. The pair, who shared a 10-year friendship before they began dating, confirmed their romance in February this year after several weeks of speculation. As Courtney and Travis's relationship intensified, Scott began publicly interacting with the Kardashians less and less. And when it was announced that Courtney was engaged to Travis after less than a year of dating, fans were immediately concerned about how Scott, whose name trended worldwide on Twitter at the time, was taking the news. Someone check on Scott for me, please, one fan wrote. In fact, an influx of reports quickly surfaced, suggesting that Scott was beside himself and not happy at all following the announcement. Scott is losing his shit right now over Courtney's getting engaged. He feels like he deserved some sort of warning that this was coming, a source reportedly told Hollywood Life. Another source told Entertainment Tonight, Scott is stewing over Courtney and Travis's engagement and is not happy at all. He's lonely right now and not in a relationship, and he is very jealous that things are working out for Courtney. Scott would prefer to go back when him and Courtney were just getting along as co-parents without anyone else in their lives romantically. He's going to go off the deep end. It's really bad. It's about to get dark, another source told Page Six. As if the engagement is not enough, Scott and Courtney's three children are reportedly also crazy about Travis. One source close to the couple spoke to Life & Style magazine and compared Travis to Scott saying, they, Courtney's kids, have such a great relationship with Scott, but they see Travis as a fun, responsible, present person in their lives. He's always doing fun things for them like letting them play his drum set, bringing them their favorite foods, and he acts like a big kid with them in the pool and backyard and Disney. The insider also added that Travis and Penelope are especially close and that Travis loves to joke with her, do her nails, and watch movies together. Scott tried to get ahead of this by posting a candid picture in his Instagram stories of his son, Rain, who was seated on the couch opposite to him. He captioned the post, after school breakdown with Rain. It was clear that the post suggested that Scott wants to spend as much time with his kids as possible, amidst the engagement news. A source close to Scott revealed that he is disconnected from everything else and wants to spend time with his kids. Scott isn't in a rush to settle down with anyone special anytime soon. His friends describe him as a loner. He's disconnected from a lot of friends and only has a few close friends in his inner circle. He's mainly been spending a lot of time with his kids, the source told Us Weekly. This got everyone wondering what Scott feels about Travis marrying Courtney and possibly taking his place in the kids' lives. Well, as you can already tell, Scott is not happy at all. The father of three has been showing some major jealousy over Travis and Courtney's relationship, and the fans are already calling him out for being bitter. Back in March, a source close to Scott revealed to E! News that Scott wasn't threatened by Courtney's new relationship. Scott knows he always has a special place in Courtney's heart and that he can't ever be replaced and will always be in the picture since he's the father of their children. He isn't threatened by Courtney and Travis's relationship at this point, the source said. Scott even went ahead to say on Keeping Up With The Kardashians episode that he knew Courtney and him would eventually get married and that it didn't matter who came between them. 
At the time, Courtney's family had also started pressuring her to get back together with Scott and even Kris Jenner implied in one of the Keeping Up With The Kardashian episodes that she wanted to see Courtney and Scott married. In that same episode, Scott was also seen complaining to Chloe and Kim about Courtney saying, I have different expectations of our life and the way we treat each other, but it's kind of one-sided. I play the role of a husband, I treat her like my wife, she talks to me like I'm her husband, I do my best to take care of her, but then I realize in return, I don't really get much of anything. Well, that was then, and seeing how quickly Courtney's relationship with Travis is moving, Scott might not be the one who gets the girl in the end. A source close to Scott revealed that it hurts him to see Courtney in a serious relationship. He doesn't like to bring it up, it's a weird convo for him. At one point, the family was really encouraging Scott and Courtney to try the relationship again, and it's a bit of an eye-opener for him that it's truly never going to happen, the source said. Courtney's engagement to Travis does not only affect his relationship with his kids, but also his position in the Kardashian family. According to one source, Scott is scared that if Courtney marries Travis, he'll lose his standing within the family. The source also confirmed that the engagement was a blow to Scott's ego and that if he does lose his standing with the family, then his outside ventures will dry up as well. So, is Scott worried that the marriage will make him lose Courtney and the kids, or is he just worried about his money and ventures? Scott will always be connected because of the kids, but if Courtney moves on and even possibly gets married, it will be such a gut punch because he wasn't the one who did it. An insider explained. So why didn't he do it when he had a chance? Well, this is exactly what the fans are calling him out for. Some are saying that it's crazy how Scott is jealous and afraid of losing his family while he's the one who blew his chances by going after girls half his age. Other fans have gone ahead to label Scott as a textbook narcissist who thought that Courtney would wait for him as he went ahead to date younger girls. Scott is the ultimate narcissist. He emotionally and physically abused Courtney for years. Gaslighting is real, one fan wrote. Another one added, he thought Courtney would wait for him as he jumped from teen to teen, and like a typical narcissist, Scott still believes that he is the only one meant to be with Courtney. During the Keeping Up with the Kardashians reunion show with Andy Cohen, Scott joked that he would kill the man that Courtney was dating. A source also spoke out about Scott's response to the engagement rumors and revealed that Scott still believes that he still has a chance with Courtney. He knew it was possible, but is very jealous of Courtney and Travis's relationship. Scott still thinks they could call things off before the wedding, the source said. Fans are now saying that Scott doesn't deserve any sympathy because Courtney already gave him too many chances to step up, but instead he continued with his player ways. But now I would love to know your thoughts on this issue. Will Scott lose his kids when Courtney and Travis get married? Let us know in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching. You know, my kids don't really know exactly what's gone on. Or I don't know if they're old enough. You know, my daughter has met her and was totally okay. Didn't really, I don't think, grasp exactly that.